That's the way I love. I'll leave them yelling for me, screaming for me, raving about me. Yes, they like my style. Uh, my name's David Lohr, and I grew up in uh, Massachusetts. And in 1974, a friend gave me a James Dean biography for Christmas, and I read it. Then I was uh, traveling to Los Angeles, and I saw the films. And uh, I was just knocked out by his performances. And I picked up another book, and I got a magazine, and a little button, and a poster, and started collecting, and didn't realize that 30 years later I'd be doing this. You know, at one point it was all, it filled a box, you know, it's like, well, I got this whole box of James Dean stuff. Now I have a huge building full. First pieces of clothing I got were the shirt pants and belt from East of Eden. And those were going on auction in New York. Uh, the t-shirt I got at an auction, oh, maybe 15 years ago. Brown wolf trousers, I got those at an auction in New York City at Sotheby's. Got the blue jeans from Giant shirt from East of Eden, stand-up collar and cummerbund from Giant. Uh, there's uh, 12 pieces of wardrobe on display at the gallery. It'd be nice to get the red jacket. That's the quintessential James Dean item, you know, uh -huh. that everybody identifies him with. So maybe at some point it'll be here on display in the gallery. This is the original gate from Rebel Alley, from Rebel Without a Cause. When I found the Rebel Alley, this gate was all in pieces on the ground waiting for the trash man to take it. So. I gathered it up and shipped it back to Indiana and a piece of Hollywood history. Yeah, a few chunks of the house from Giant Rietta and, and then a piece of the fence from the rooftop. Some of the small pieces were gifts from people that went to Texas and brought them back and then the big pieces I got at auctions. And this is an actual piece of the car which James Dean was killed in on September 30th, 1955. And I got that from this, this gentleman here who was 18 at the time and he saw the car that day and, and he broke that piece off and, and he's had it all these years. He ended up just donating it to the museum because he wanted it to uh, be on display. There's been some donations and some, some, some people have been nice to put things on loan and donate things. Well, I started visiting here in 1979, came back and forth several times each year and got to know a lot of the townspeople and the family and really liked the town. We did a lot of advertising, we've got billboards on the highway, we have brochures and all the rest areas and we brought people into town and they'd eat at the restaurants, you know, go to the hotels, go to the historical museum and, you know, it's just bringing people into town is good for the revenue and it's good for the town. A lot, of, a lot of people come into town to pay their respects to, to uh, James Dean. I mean, there have been James Dean fans coming to Fairmount since the early, early late 50s, 1956 on. There have been Dean fans coming into town. Jamie Bell from Billy Elliot, he came in. Rufus Wainwright's been here several times. Yeah, We just happened to be the first ones that moved into town and, and uh, opened up a museum. And I lived in New York and uh, Los Angeles for quite a while. And uh, it just seemed important to have the James Dean collection in Grant County, you know, James Dean's, where James Dean grew up. You know, I was here in Fairmount for 15 years and then we moved it 10 miles away to, out to the interstate where there's more traffic and more James Dean awareness for the general public. Yeah, we enjoy being here. People come from all over the world, it's exciting. 